in need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn? Bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hi, it's me Neil and I have a surprise for you. I've been scanning the warehouse and for the entire week starting Monday the 13th of September to Sunday the 19th of September, I'll be bringing you a manager special every day. So for seven days I'll be here live bringing you an amazing auction with amazing savings. So make sure you tune in and don't miss out. Is that okay Elliot? You're not going to do anything funny with my voice are you? No, no, of course not. Of course not. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP, even if you check out multiple times in one day. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. 
Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Hi, it's me, Neil, and I have a surprise for you. I've been scaring the warehouse and for the entire week, starting Monday the 13th of September to Sunday the 19th of September, I'll be bringing you a manager special every day. So for seven days, I'll be here live, bringing you an amazing auction with amazing savings. So make sure you tune in and don't miss out. Is that okay, Elliot? You're not going to do anything funny with my voice, are you? No, no, of course not. Of course not. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hi everybody, welcome back to Sewing Street. It's fantastic to have your company. You might be joining us on Yarn Lane. We're there too. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What a fantastic day we've been having, but we've saved the best till last. I'm super excited about this hour because we're meeting members from the WI, from the Women's Institute. We've got a very, very special and exclusive panel and we're going to be talking about celebrating, inspiring women, how women in the WI encouraged and supported each other through lockdown, how they managed actually to grow during lockdown and what the future holds. We've got some wonderful, wonderful um, talk to have today and I hope you'll stay and join us. Don't forget, of course, you can message us. Just send us a message, any questions. Are you in the WI? How long have you been a member? Do you know Marina and Ange, who are our guests today? If you don't already, you will know them by the end of the hour. I've been so looking forward to this programme. We've got a really, really special panel. Um, we at Sewing Street wanted to support the work of the WI, and so we've had this exclusive panel um, created, and I want to show you, in partnership with the WI. Now the WI is 
tagline motto is inspiring women and it's you know the the, the wi have been inspiring women for 106 years now it's an incredible achievement isn't it and remain as relevant today i think the last two years have shown how more relevant the wi has has become um, and we've got this amazing panel. Now, what this panel allows you to do, the instructions are actually printed at the top. It creates a WI celebration tote bag panel. And you've got the front and the back right down there. It's up to you which way around you have that. And then you've also got um, these sections over here to create your handles and to line your handles with as well. There are even some labels along the side that you can cut out. Now these might be that you're gonna add them on to your, to your tote bag. You might even add these to a project if you're already in the WI or you're inspired to join the WI after today's show, which I hope you will be. Now this panel is 12 99 Makes a beautiful tote bag. I'm gonna grab it because it's right behind me. There we go. I got it. Kat made this. No, Haley made this. Beautiful tote bag. I'm just, I'm going to model it. I'm going to model it. Gorgeous tote bag, okay, that you can wear across your shoulder. Love that. This might be what you take your things to your Women's Institute meetings. It might be your shopping bag. It might be the bag you use to go to the library. But it's really about celebrating the work of the WI and the ways that they inspire women all over the country now and over the past 106 years. We're so proud to be working with the WI on this one. It's really wonderful. And to highlight, I've spent many years visiting WIs all around the country and talking to them about the work that I do, but also hearing their stories as well about what brought them to the WI. I've met members who've been um, in the WI for 60 years plus. Um, I've also met people who have joined the WI in the last six months who are having just a wonderful time learning from other people, being inspired and finding a wonderful community that really goes across all ages um, and covers so many different interests. There are misconceptions about the WI of course, we all know about the Jam and the Jerusalem, but there is so much about the WI and I think you really do have to talk to people who are in the WI to understand what it's all about and that's what we're doing today. So I'm going to pop that back up there. Let's meet our special guest, shall we? I couldn't be more thrilled. We've got Ange and Marina. Hello. Hi. Welcome both. Welcome to Sewing Street. How are you? Oh, we're fine. Thank you for inviting us. It's wonderful to have <coughs> you here. First time in the building? Yes. yes. Welcome. Here we are. Don't spoil the magic. <laughs> Don't tell everyone it's a broom cupboard. It's not a broom cupboard. It's lovely. But it's really wonderful to have you here. Now, which WI are you both from? So we're Nuneaton Acorns WI. Um, Nuneaton Acorns? Yes, Nuneaton Acorns. So Nuneaton I know near Coventry? Yes. yes. That yeah. sort of part of the country. In Great. Warwickshire. And so Marina, how long have you been a member of the WI? So I've been a member for over 10 years. And I started in the WI 10 years ago, just after my father-in-law died. Okay. So I took my mother-in-law um, because she'd spent some time taking care of him. Um, so she could really sort of widen her circle of friendship. Right. And I went with her for a couple of years to help her settle, really. And I hadn't really understood it before I went. And so your intention wasn't to join? My intention really. wasn't to join or stay. My intention was to sort of go and support my mother-in-law. But I really had my eyes open and it was amazing. It was a group called Mansetter, uh -huh. um, which is where she lives. And it was just the most welcoming, supportive and caring group. And so I stayed. And what um, was different about what you were expecting the WI to be? Well, I think the perception of the WI is that it's old ladies, jam in Jerusalem, um, and it's quite stuffy. And it wasn't at all like that. <laughs> it really wasn't. It was such great fun. The women were so welcoming. And, and you know, there was no clicks or anything like that. Right. Um, you were made very, very welcome. And it was so diverse with the things that we were doing. <laughs> it was really interesting. <coughs> and so I stayed with them for a few years. Mm -hmm. Um, and then a local one to us opened relatively recently. Yeah. So Ange, were you in the WI before the Nuneaton Acorns? No, we've only been going, uh, it's been a new group, it's only been going since um, 2019. So had your group 
formed like just before lockdown or yes. during? Just before lockdown. We... Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And so you were you were getting ready to welcome all the new members, all those evenings together, all those meetings, yeah. and then suddenly, bam, lockdown happens. Surely the whole thing falls apart. No. We went into lockdown with 16 members and we came out with 34. Wow. So. Wow. You know, I was saying earlier on about, about how actually WI, the WI grew during lockdown and that's more than doubling, isn't it? Yeah. From yeah. 16 to 34. Incredible. And what do you think it was about um, those times or was it about those times that, that, that created that interest? What do you think happened, Marina? So during the, the lockdown, obviously, it was very difficult for people who were, weren't able to get out and actually socialise. But what our group did is we almost immediately went on to Zoom. Okay. So we were delivering a monthly session on Zoom, but we also had quite a repertoire of other things. So we had a craft group and we had a book club and we had a Friday night quarantinis, which we absolutely love. So it quarantinis? That sounds like martini. Yes, <laughs> yes absolutely. I'm interested, Ange. I want to join. <laughs> yes. Um, wow. Might have been a bit of gin. We can't confirm nor deny that. Fine. I won't any ask tipple. further about that. I'll just let you make up your own minds at home. But it sounds like a lot of fun. It sounds like a lot of fun to me. And Ange, t can you tell me what your sort of monthly meetups entail? What I mean, what is it about being in the WI that, that you enjoy so much? Um, I think it's just the variety of things that we've learned. I mean, obviously, I'd never been in the WI before, so I didn't know what to expect. And I think one of the first ones that I went to, um, we did Pilates, so I went, rushed home and ordered a DVD. And then, because you enjoyed it? Yeah, and then we did a bit of art with wax crayons and an ink pen, so I went out and bought wax crayons. <laughs> and then um, I went home after one event and my husband said, what have you been doing tonight? And I said, oh, we had a man came to talk to us about beekeeping. And he went, oh, so, okay. <laughs> <laughs> And tell me the rest of the story. No, I didn't get no you bees. didn't go out and buy bees. <laughs> I love that. I love that. But you know, actually, beekeeping is my retirement plan. I plan one day when I retire to keep bees. But I, you know, this isn't this isn't the popular perception of what WI is about, is it? I mean, I've got friends who are in the WI, and they've done self-defense, they've done uh, mixing cocktails, they've done calligraphy. Uh, you know, all kinds of different things, Pilates, yoga, um, all kinds of different yeah. things. It's incredibly varied, isn't it? Now, of course, I can't ignore, and nor would I want to, all that amazing craft that you have brought in, including quilts. And you've been quilting for a long time. A couple of years. A couple of years. <laughs> Which one is your, did you bring your first quilt in? Yes. I've got to show you because I'm like proud dad here. This is the one. So this is Angie's first quilt. I know, I know. Everyone in the gallery is saying, first quilt, first. Yes. That looks like a hundredth. Look at that. Beautiful. William Morris. And when you, when, when you did that, was that like, oh, this is the start of something big? Yes, very big. But then you went small. Yes, I did. Because this is Angie's second quilt. Yes. You're not going to believe this. <sighs> just hold it up, Angie. That is just incredible. Second quilt. Carol's messaged in. Morning, ladies. Wow, wow, wow. Love the elephant quilt. Yeah. Whose work is that? So this marvellous elephant quilt is has been made by mandy okay. in our group well done mandy and uh, mandy <gasps> just finished binding it so we could bring it this morning so oh mandy and it was thank long you armed. so much it was long gone by Ange. yeah because Ange, although you've only been quilting for a couple of years <laughs> you really have committed fully haven't you yes. <laughs> tell us what you went out and bought um handy quilt amara with pro stitch oh, which is what i've also got we have pinhole quilting sometimes here at Sewing Street who have the Amara amazing. Do you love it? Yes. Amazing. What else have you got there? Marina, talk about some of the other things you've so, been doing. We've put loads of things to show you today. So there are things that we've done on an individual basis because we thought we'd give you a bit of a tour. So this one here is a lockdown quilt that um, one of the members did on an individual basis. And these are some beautiful flowers that our members have done because well, we'll talk about it in a moment, but we're going to be um, creative bombing a local area where we live soon. Oh, I like the sound of that. So 
we've got lots of yarn, but we've also got some good creative stuff. So we had a really fantastic online um, tuition around how to make quilted acorns. That's and so cool. And you are the Nuneaton Acorns. We are the Nuneaton Acorns, so that's why they were so important. So if you're inspired to join the uh, WY and you live in the Nuneaton area, then of course look out for the Nuneaton Acorns. But if you live anywhere else in the country, the WY are everywhere they aren't they? Are. so you'll be able to find a group near you and and i would encourage and i'm sure you would yeah. you're amazing ambassadors for the wi i want to join but it's for <laughs> women so i can't but you only have to type into google join the wi you'll get straight through to a page where you can join the here we go join the wi how to join the national federation of women's institutes become a member just click there and you'll be taken straight through. What are you waiting for? Marina and Angie's WI more than doubled membership during lockdown. And it's that sense of community, isn't it, and togetherness. Now there's some lovely knitting there, which I want to look at in a sec, but we've got a message from Leslie who says, I've been a member of the WI for 40 years and made so many friends and had some wonderful times. The WI introduced me to my love of quilting and craft. Leslie, you, you can't buy that, can you? To be introduced and to find a fresh love and a fresh interest. Sounds like it's both really inspired you. Now the knitting, I've got to ask. Yes. So next year, we are planning to Yarn Bomb Creative Bomb, a local area where we live. So our group have come together and have started to create some amazing things. So we've got, um, Tina's made some amazing bunting. We've had, you know, if life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So we've got some lovely Gorgeous, lemons. Gorgeous, love those. And beautiful just fabric flowers. So we've got all types of different things. But I'm going to let Anne talk to you about this amazing little chap. <laughs> and he is amazing. Yeah, um, one of our ladies has done this on um, through loom knitting. Okay. Which... Um, she started since joining the, the WI. Had she ever tried it before? No. Okay. No. Um, so, and this is going to be a bollard cover. Oh, I love it. I love it. Mm. So you're, I mean, the whole point, if you've never heard of yarn bombing or creative bombing before, it's all about creating sort of, or taking somewhere quite boring, isn't it? Something like, like a bollard, something very plain, or and yeah. jazzing it up, either with knitting, crochet, fabric, to make it more exciting and interesting. So you've gathered together yeah. all these different things and you're going to just... We are. The, um, the theme is for the Jubilee next year. Okay. So we've got things like oranges and lemons, St. Bells and St. Clemens. Exactly. We've got the soldiers, yep. Angie's knitting, amazing uh, royal family. Oh, um, are you? Ange, tell yeah. us about that. Knit, a knitted royal family. Well, yes, I've only done a couple of the characters yet. Who have you done so far? Um, William and Kate, because it's actually from a, the are royal wedding. Are they your favourites? No, it's from the royal wedding book. Oh, they're, they're, okay. they were the first ones. They were the first ones. <laughs> and how did you find doing Wills? It was OK. They were just a bit fiddly because they're very small. They're only Quite about small. that big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you done them with the, with, the, with the hair or with the very short hair or...? No hair at all? No hair. It's got no hair. <laughs> She's got a head. She's got a head. But well, it sounds wonderful. Are you going to leave the Queen till last? Um, no, I've, I'm just doing her at the moment. Oh, are you? Yes. Angie's just doing the Queen at the moment. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What a fun project. We've got a lovely question from Julie, who's in Surrey, saying, Good afternoon. I was told that you had to be nominated in order to join the WI. Is this not the case? Love, Julie. No, it's not the case, Julie. You can absolutely join. Um, just have a look on the internet, find your local group and just go along. They'd be more than welcome to, they'd welcome yep. you very well. Not a secret society? No. no. Are there any restrictions on who can join? Age range or anything like that? From 18 upwards. So 18 plus absolutely. To, to anything. Absolutely. Amazing. But it's for women. It is. It is. For Men women. can go along to meetings sometimes as a guest, can't they? We have guest speakers yep. who are men. Yep. Absolutely. We've had some fantastic ones. Yeah. We? Um, so we, next year, we actually have a guest speaker who it was the head of the CSI Forensics <gasps> at Warwickshire Ooh. Police. So, yeah, we, we have um, we have a variety of speakers, of which 
some of them are male. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And I've spoken to many WI groups and also federation groups where a lot of all the reps from a big area all come together and meet too. Um, this is absolutely exploding the stereotypes, isn't it? If you thought you knew the WI, maybe this morning is making you rethink that. It sounds like a really exciting club and community to join. Hello, ladies and Stuart. Are there any groups in Scotland, yes, please? Yes, absolutely. It's international. Yep, international. It's international. Tell us, um, either of you, whoever would like to, how did the WI actually start in the UK? So, it's a great story. It actually started in Canada um, by a lady called Adelaide Hoodless who lost her little boy. He actually died um, drinking some milk with bacteria in it. And she, just, she was just so heartbroken at the loss of her you know, treasured child she decided that women needed more education. So she joined together a group of women saying, we need to know more about how to protect our children. And so a lady who joined her group, who was in her group in Canada, a lady called Madge Watt, emigrated to England. And she was helped then to then take all this amazing work that she'd seen in Canada and actually set it up in England. So that's what happened on, you know, in September, yeah. 106 years ago, um, to set it up. And it was, it's just been absolutely amazing since, and it really has exploded. It started in Anglesey in, in Wales. Amazing. And it just had spread, yeah. So Wales, Ireland, Scotland, England, yeah. the WI is everywhere. It's international. I've never heard that story before. Yeah. I'd n I thought I knew how the WI had started, but um, even that, uh, that's just a fantastic story. And right at the start it was about inspiring women educating and inspiring and bringing together for good and still 106 years later it's still doing that in some of the same and many different ways absolutely and the WI... imagine they didn't do pilates and cocktail making 106 <laughs> years no, ago. but you never know not then I wasn't um, there. but over the years they have been the forefront i mean they were they were part of the suffragette movement um, in yes. the 70s, they were the people saying we need to recycle waste. Yes. They were part of the movement to you know, keep Britain tidy. Yes. Um, and currently, our current resolution is around supporting ovarian cancer and getting more awareness around for women around the signs and symptoms of ovarian cancer. Which so, is really bringing it full circle, yes. isn't it? Back to why mm. the WI started yes. in, the, in the first place. It's about protecting health and about education. I just think that's incredible. It is Absolutely incredible. incredible. Don't forget, if you want to um, inspire other people or yourself join the WI but also why don't you get yourself our exclusive WI panel to create a tote bag it's $12.99 the whole panel comes with full instructions for how to make it into a tote bag it's a nice quick easy make you might never have sewn before you'd be able to do this no problem you might know somebody who's in the WI and you want to celebrate their membership Maybe your WI has a craft day. You could create these for your craft day. Maybe you've got a challenge currently running in your WI and you want to take something along. I haven't talked about actually what, what, what this design is all made up of, but it's actually words that I find very inspiring too. Bold, grow, inspiring, flexible. All of these are the sort of visions that the WI have and that they celebrate and encourage throughout their groups, throughout the country. Lovely message from Pat. We're getting so many messages who are part of the WI. It's wonderful. I've been a member for over 10 years. I love it. Lots of very friendly people. My daughter has just joined. It's fantastic, Pat. It's lovely. Intergenerational. Well, my daughter's joined as well. Uh, and how old's your daughter? She's 25. That's fabulous. Yeah. That is fabulous. And so, like, you took your mum along in the first place. Yeah. It's just wonderful, isn't it? Valerie sent a message. At our small WI in Suffolk, we have a member who is 97 years old and is still an active member of our committee. That's, That's from Val. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. And, I, and I honestly do believe as well that being part of a community where you're learning and there's always something fresh and there's that sense of togetherness does keep us all going, doesn't it? It does. It's amazing. And this, this quote here you can see here, this has been put together not just by one WI, but a number of WIs in Nuneaton called the Anchor Group who came together to create this collectively. Um, and this is the George Eliot um, quilt and that will be hanging up in the George Eliot um, Heritage Centre. 
So it just goes That's to show that coup. we can. Yeah. Wow. So it just goes to show that they can. We all come together as well. Yes. To create beautiful things. It isn't just your individual WI. No. Um, it's it's a collective. So. And um, you were saying earlier on that you'd just joined and then lockdown happened. So now that we're sort of coming out of all of that, how have things changed? How have you found it now getting back together again? Are you joining together again now? Um, yeah, on a social basis. We'd actually, um, the meetings we've got planned for the next couple of months, we've got a different venue and then we'll be moving to a bigger venue wow. in November. Sounds like you need to with all yes. these new members. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah. Now, if there isn't of WI in your vicinity, can you set one up? That is a fantastic question and the answer is yes. So if there's not one in the local area, then people can contact their local federation and get help from, there's this whole group of amazing women called advisors mm -hmm. and those advisors can come out and help, pe help people set them up in different areas. So absolutely, we're, we're, so we're all up for that. So you could start from scratch. It doesn't absolutely. matter if there isn't a WI. Yeah. That's brilliant, that's brilliant. I love it. Now, of course, you can just search online how to join the WI. That will provide that link and you'll also be able to find how to contact those advisors as well. If there isn't a WI in your village or town, I mean, maybe you don't have transport and you know other people in your town or village that don't either and you want something much more local, start your own. Your WI is just two years young. Yeah. Yes, that's right. The WI itself, 106 years this month. What a wonderful, wonderful birthday to be celebrating. Great message from Jennifer is in Warwickshire. I live in Whitestone, Nuneaton. Where is my nearest group? That be so yeah, you've got you've got a couple of groups, um, and you're lucky enough to have a couple of groups. There's one called Whitestone Owls. Um, there's Treacle Tarts, and there's Us, which is the Nuneaton Acorn. So. Um, could be a brand yeah. new member for you. Are you allowed to be a member of more than one? You are. You can be a dual member. You so can be a dual member. You so can you come could along go... to us as well, Jennifer. Jennifer, I think I, wa I want to go along to that group too. Don't they sound... I, I'm just totally inspiring. Marina and Angie, amazing people and um, just so lucky to have you join us on Sewing Street today. What a treat. Um, now, I think there's, we've seen all of the knitwear. There's one thing I did want to just ask you to show. Right at the front, there's a heart with acorn oh, yeah. leaves around it, which I just think is beautiful. Because I think this kind of sums up how the WI started, where the WI is now, and your group as well. Yeah. From little acorns, mighty oaks grow. And the WI is a mighty oak now, isn't it? But made up of all those individual members supporting and inspiring each other. Do you know, you've both really inspired me this morning. I think you've been amazing guests. We might just need to get you back for a demonstration show. <laughs> we'll get your quilting for us, Ange, <laughs> on your handy quilter. Just both of you, totally inspiring us. Thank you for joining us today and for collaborating with us on this wonderful tote bag panel. Um, what a treat. We hope to see you again soon. Oh, okay. We're going out for lunch, actually, so I will be seeing you very soon. <laughs> Gorgeous pair. I've really enjoyed that. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Um, just wonderful, just wonderful. Let's have another look at that panel. If you wanted to line this bag, we've also got some fabrics that um, we've selected that would work beautifully, that bring out that green or that ivory. With your panel, you are getting the front and the back, or you could buy some of the plain fabric, use this for the front of one bag and one of these for the handle, this for a separate bag and another plain for the back and use this for the handle. So you can make it go further. If you wanted to turn this into a cushion, you absolutely could. You could cut thinner strips of this and put a frill. It could be a wall hanging. You could take it along to your WI. You could frame it. I mean, it's just wonderful. And take it along when you join your local WI, or maybe even you set your own W up. I didn't realise that anybody, any women, any woman can set up a WI in their area with the support of the advisors. That's fantastic. I mean, I want to say massive, massive congratulations to the WI for celebrating 106 years inspiring women, but also to any of you who've got this panel and many, many of you have got this panel. We would love to see 
pictures of your makes using this panel. Maybe when you get together with your WI and you're all there with your bags, we would love you to send a picture of you all showing off your WI bags that we can then put on our website. I've had a message from Joan for me. <laughs> Great to see the WI on Sewing Street. This is my lovely friend Joan. If you remember Stuart, the WI is where we first met. It absolutely is Howden WI. You were get Hook WI, sorry. You were giving a talk at Hook WI and I asked you a question about your sewing machine, the start of a beautiful friendship sent with kind thoughts by Joan from Howden. And that is absolutely right. My, my very lovely friend who pieced the Rainbow Hearts quilt that I've had up in the studio and has pieced a number of um, quilts for my books, we met when I went to give a talk at her local WI and that was how we met and we are very, very close friends. Gorgeous. If you want to line your bag, your tote bag, we've got some different options for you. Let me show you. Let's start with the chartreuse. Today's been about the chartreuse, hasn't it? We had that lovely enzyme wash chartreuse linen in the last show. This is gorgeous. This would go beautiful. I mean, look how great. That's a fab match, isn't it? Really lovely. Also works really, really well with the darker side as well. That is fab. You could also border this, couldn't you, if you were going to create a cushion or a wall hanging. So that's the chartreuse option. Available by the half meter. We've also got ivory. And these are very, very affordable to add these. Three pounds, 49 pence for a half a meter. It's Rose and Hubble, so we know it's gorgeous quality. 100% cotton. And again, that's gonna work beautifully. It's a bit of a contrast, isn't it? It's a bit of a contrast there with that wonderful WI Inspiring Women exclusive tote bag panel. You won't find this anywhere else, just right here at Sewing Street. And then finally, let's go for a little bit of a contrast. We're going slate blue. I think this is a lovely combination. This is picking up a little bit more of the darker tones, but also just bringing in a third colour. That is also really, really smart. Claire on the Yarn Lane Facebook has said, really handy for carrying your yarn in. Oh, I like that idea. <laughs> Anything that helps me keep my knitting and my crochet handy and all together and tidy, that's a fab idea. Super. That's our slate blue. Or you might see another colour that you prefer. Just shop ahead, have a look on our website. Lovely message from collector in Merseyside. Hi Stuart, what a lovely and varied show it's been today. Love your hints and tips and hope you'll become a regular. Thank you ever so much. Me too. I think that's the intention. I hope that's the intention. I will, I will let you know next week. <laughs> Now then, throughout the rest of the hour, we've got a real mix of knitting and sewing products. Anything that you want to see, message in, let us know. If you want a closer look at anything that I've got in today's show, just have a look at what we've got in the show and I can get that out and we'll have a proper look at it. Let's have a look at some fat quarters. Where should we go? Right at the very front. So we've got some lovely packs, colour themed colour themed fat quarters. Always a fan. I'm going to pop those there. Let's start with the red. Really gorgeous. 100% cotton. Four fat quarters for $6.99. That's amazing value. If you're new to patchwork and quilting, Ange only started two years ago. You saw her incredible work. This is lovely. Lovely collection of what I would call sort of barn reds. It's that sort of almost sort of madder, brownish red, beautiful, and creams, really lovely. Nice little floral in there as well. You're getting four fat quarters for $6.99. That's a metre of fabric in a, a lovely bundle there for $6.99. Gorgeous. Let's look at yellow. This is really pretty. This is gorgeous. Thinking baby quilts here. Lovely floral there. A gingham. Really lovely floral there. 
ditzes. These are so useful. You know, I, I start, I'm often asked the question, where did I start in crafting? And I actually started not as a sewer, but as a knitter. My mum taught me to knit when I was three. I mean, you wonder how I uh, handled the knitting needles, really. But um, my mum taught me to knit because I was the last child. I was very challenging, wanted to talk a lot. <laughs> You can understand, can't you? And my mum thought, oh, and I was desperate to start school. And so my mum said to me, I'm going to teach you something that they don't teach at school. I'm going to teach you how to knit. And she cast on. Um, I can still remember it was light blue yarn. And I knitted my action man a maxi dress. And it fitted him beautifully. <laughs> and that was the first thing I ever knitted. Unfortunately for my mum, I soon learned how to talk and knit at the same time. But it worked for probably about the first year. <laughs> but of course, I soon went on to sewing from there. This is a lovely range. This is blacks. Now, I love the fact that we've got a floral with a black background. That is very dramatic. Oh, I mean, I could just have this in oodles. Love that black and white stripe so useful gorgeous for bindings and there are some lovely patterns actually for zip bags with bindings around the zip which looks gorgeous in that stripe a little gingham very nice also very nice cut on the bias cut diagonally for bindings and then a lovely black and white print at the back these are great stash builders aren't they quilters if you need to supplement your stash maybe during lockdown you did an awful lot of sewing like marina and Ange did from the wi who we met you might need to restock your stash. These are great stash builders. Our last one is the green bundle. And we've got a lovely range. We've got that real deep forest green there with flowers, a much brighter, fresher spring green. Look how contrasting they look together. I'm already seeing half square triangles. And then this, that's pretty one. Cafetiere covers, new kitchen accessories. Really nice, love that stripe too. So any of those options, $6.99 for four fat quarters. Superb, great value. Now, maybe you've just joined us on Yarn Lane or Sewing Street and you don't knit currently or you've had a little go and you want to learn more. I've got a great book to share with you. It's called How to Knit, the only technique book you will ever need. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. You know, I often say with, with anything, dressmaking, knitting, crochet, um, actually, even though the permutations are endless, it's only a handful of skills that you need to be able to knit or crochet or sew anything, and the rest is practice. Uh, this is great. So we're looking at things like the equipment and the yarn, the language of yarn, choosing and substituting yarn. That's a really important one because often we can't or we don't want to use the yarn in a pattern. Great advice there. How to read a knitting pattern, following charts, things like increasing and decreasing, casting off, all these basics. Maybe mum didn't teach you to knit when you were small or maybe you had no interest, you didn't want to. Um, and it's only now that you want to learn how to knit or you want to encourage someone else finishing, taking it to the next level. This is important even for us more experienced knitters, adapting to fit, choosing the right cast on. And I spent 40 years thinking there was only one cast on. It's the one I was taught, but there's lots of different cast ons and also um, bindings or finishing off uh, techniques. Loads of different things. How to fix, fudge and tweak. Mmm, that sounds useful to me. And also, I like this. The last chapter is all about the knitting community, finding other knitters, sharing and selling your work, knitting for, cha for charity. Really good there. You might be a member of the WI. You might be planning on joining and want to take along a craft that you've already mastered. Great book there to get you going. It's a beautiful book, absolutely filled, jam-packed, jam-packed with photographs, tips, techniques, all sorts of ideas. It's £10.39. That is an amazing bargain. If you've never given knitting a go before, if you're already knitting, but you want to learn more and expand, 
I was talking about steaking yesterday. Mm. Demystified. That's what this book does. It's demystifying. Really, really supportive. I think that's a fabulous book, that. Well worth £10.39. That's a brilliant price. OK. The Rainbow Yarn. Oh, you're really making me stretch today. Stretching, stretching. Now, this is a name I know well of Double Knit Yarn. King Cole, Dolly Mix. Dolly Mix, this is fun. Of course, I can't help myself. I have to arrange it into a rainbow. This is what I do every day of my life. I love to arrange colours into a sequence that pleases me. Look at that. Look at that. Seven different yarns. We've got the full rainbow. Beautiful. Now each of those balls of yarn is 25 grams. So in total you've got 175 grams of yarn. Really useful actually if you're into things like um, knitting or crocheting mm -hmm. small toys. Amigurumi, those little crocheted. If you're just starting out, what about if you want to just add some colours to your stash? Maybe a lovely scarf, a rainbow scarf. Or a friend of mine actually crocheted me a rainbow, an actual rainbow with a hanging loop that I have hanging on the door of my dresser in my studio. And every time I look at it, it brightens my day for lots of reasons. All that lovely bright colour, the symbol of the rainbow, but also because my friend made it for me. So maybe you're buying this to make a little gift for somebody special to say, I thought of you, just lovely. And £6.49. Message from Mary. Hey, Mary. Can you show the Sophie design role? I'd like to see what colours are in it. Mary. Oh, Mary, this is lovely. This is very lovely. This is a Moda strip roll. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to move that out of the way so you can see. We're starting with these lovely torps into greys. Little rosebuds. Almost a lacy look to this one. Very pretty. Shall I open? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take the ribbon off. I'm trying to think of the producer and director who are going to be tidying up after I swan off for lunch. So I'm not going to unpack it completely. But look at these absolutely beautiful reds and pinks. Lovely florals. This is nice. A lovely check. Soft pinks. And then into these lovely fresh greens as well. This is lovely, isn't it? It's very romantic, soft and gentle and then through into creams. I adore this. And look how it mixes so beautifully then going back into the torps and the greys. So a really lovely mix there. That's your Moda Sophie design roll. 40 two and a half inch strips. Hope you like that Mary. I think that's gorgeous. And look, I'm going to tie it back up. There you go. Tidy and beautiful. I like to keep my jelly rolls just on a shelf so I can look at them and inspire me. And then sometimes I take them down and give them a little stroke. And then sometimes I do take them down and use them because it's important to use these fabrics, isn't it? <laughs> Let them fulfil their destiny. Let's do another mode, a bundle of fabric. What should we look at? This is Amazing. <laughs> One of my favourite ki kinds, of, kinds of quilt is the red and white quilt. It's absolutely timeless. These are so beautiful. This is the Rosalyn fabric bundle. The designer on this fabric bundle is, let me find, let me find, it's Moda isn't it? I want to say French General. It looks very French General. There is some French General in there, I think. It's leaning towards, aren't these beautiful? And then with the softness of that pink, a little bit of grey top in there as well. 
Oh, that's a very beautiful fabric. Look at that with the morning glories. Joan, who, who messaged in actually, has got the most incredible blue and white morning glories all around her, her door of her house. It's Minikin Simpson. It's Minikin Simpson. I do love Minikin Simpson. They do amazing red and white quilts. If you want to be inspired, Google them. You'll see how they use these fabrics. I dare you not to fall in love. I mean, just beautiful. And they are romantic colours, aren't they? Really beautiful. You're getting half a metre of each, so that's five and a half metres in total. 74.90 is a brilliant price for Minikin Simpson Moda fabric. Absolutely beautiful. Love those. Now we've also got a Riley Blake bundle. This again, super romantic, soft and gentle, pretty, feminine. This is gorgeous. You've got the script in the background. You know me and fabric with words on. <laughs> Beautiful florals, little messages too. You're getting six metres in total. Let's just open that up for a sec. Oh, look at that. Look at that. With these beautiful, but this reminds me of Victorian decoupage, the sort of motifs you would get in Victorian decoupage. The floral, splay, uh, floral sprays, the butterflies, the birds. Very pretty. This is Riley Blake, 100% cotton, of course. It is so smooth and so silky. Gorgeous little floral there. I love this very soft duck egg blue. Polka dot always, that rings a lot of bells for me, ticks a lot of boxes, but also a little floral scattered too. It also comes in a, a pink with almost like a peachy tan background, very lovely. We've got this super stripe. I just love a striped sashing or a binding. Oh, this makes me happy. Fabrics with words on, beautiful sort of italic script. Great for using as a background. Imagine appliqueing onto this. But your background, rather than being plain, has got all that lovely interest in it. It just creates more visual interest. From a distance, of course, that's going to read as almost a solid. But then when you get close, you've got more visual interest. Beautiful, beautiful small floral there. And then, oh, I think we've saved the best ones till last. Look at these. Oh, that is just stunning, isn't it? The soft duck egg, the lovely, soft, gentle, romantic pink. Valentine projects. What about a wedding quilt? Someone you know getting married? Suddenly there are weddings again. I'm driving to and from my studio, driving to work, and I'm seeing happy couples and families all together. Big hats, flowers, confetti. It is such a welcome return, isn't it? Maybe someone in your family is getting married and you want to make them a really special quilt to celebrate and honour. Maybe someone you know got married during lockdown and you didn't get a chance to give them a wonderful gift and you want to show them how much you celebrate their union. This would make a beautiful, beautiful quilt. But it's also just very lovely if you have a shabby chic look in your bedroom. That's really lovely. That's Riley Blake, 88.99. That is smashing. Now then, something for knitters. Here we go. We've got a gorgeous, gorgeous bundle here from West Yorkshire Spinners. I know West Yorkshire Spinners yarns very well. Beautiful, beautiful sock yarns. Gorgeous yarns for knitting garments too. Now what you're getting here is, you're getting the pattern for the fleece Starbeck round necked jumper. We had the, the designer actually, Sarah Hatton and I go way back. Sarah, Sarah and I know each other very well. She is an amazing designer. I admire her work so much. There, everything she does I love, actually. She's a really, really fantastic designer. Um, just beautiful. She makes really flattering garments. Every single thing she makes really flatter. Um, any size. 
and any shape. It's really beautiful. Uh, this is blue-faced Leicester, 100% British wool. Um, I was Charlie and I were recently at a country show and there were lots of blue-faced Leicester sheep there. Um, they're the ones that have got really long, almost like spirally, um, looks almost like dreads. Really cool fleece and it is much prized for knitwear. Beautiful. So you're getting the pattern and then you're also getting this beautiful blue-faced Leicester, Leicester yarn from West Yorkshire Spinners. You're getting five hanks. This is a DK weight and you're getting 100 grams. Um, in terms of meterage, that's 225 meters or 246 yards per hank. You're also getting one in this gorgeous ivory. Now that is enough to make the Starbeck round neck jumper in the largest size. The largest size. And the largest size is a double XL, that's up to a 48, 50 inch bust, okay? So you're getting full instructions, lovely photography in there. If you fancy having a go at this, but think I can't knit, I can't knit, knit, or I can only knit and purl and nothing else. How about buying this with that wonderful book I showed you earlier on, How to Knit? Because, oh, it's sold out. It's sold, the bundle sold out. The bundle sold out. But maybe you've been inspired anyway. That How to Knit book is still available. If you'd like it, just adds extra skills, doesn't it? There's that code, £10.39, wonderful price and a wonderful book. Now, we've also got another book from yeah, West Yorkshire Spinners. This is The Natural Home. Now, I have seen this book, I recognise those cushions because I've seen this advertised and thought, oh, I so need those cushions and that blanket in my life. This is really beautiful. Six Homeware Projects by Jenny Watson. Now I'm just gonna have a look because I'm thinking that looks like, we've got DK Aaron. Yeah, DK and Aaron. I was thinking that looks a little bit chunkier. These are gorgeous. Oh, and look at the colors. <gasps> just yummy. Blue Faced Leicester. I designed this collection to showcase the very best of British fibres and, and their superb stitch definition. These elegant and cosy homewares were a joy to design and each one highlights the unique characteristics of these special yarns. Some really beautiful projects in this book. Six projects, a lace throw, a bed runner and poof, a honeycomb basket, blanket and cushions, well, that's really two or three projects there, isn't it? Just in one. Peacock plume throw and ripple cushion, that's two more. A checkerboard trellis blanket and a patchwork blanket and cushions. Well, it says six projects, but I reckon you've got at least 10. This is really lovely. Spiral bound. If you're someone who loves it when you can just put a book flat and you can just leave it flat, and it's the little things. Really fab, maybe as well if you're ticking off rows or you can pop a pen down there or a pencil. Really, really beautiful. It's beautifully produced book this. $12.95, loads of lovely projects. And also you're gonna learn some lovely techniques along the way. Have a look on the website, Yarn Lane website, www.yarnlane.com. You'll find the yarns. You'll find the yarns. We've got another book from West Yorkshire Spinners actually, and this is gorgeous. Final one for our show. This is called Fleece, and it's the family collection. I love family knits. Now we used to have Jacobs at the farm. We don't at the moment, we have Welsh mountain sheep, but they are magnificent, aren't they? The boys all have these extraordinary horns that always make them look terribly proud. They are beautiful, and one of the oldest breeds of sheep. Beautiful. So what you've got in this, again by Sarah Hatton, you've got a wonderful collection of patterns. And again, you know, they just flatter, don't they? There's lots of lovely visual interest, but nothing overly complicated. This um, news home, ladies crop sleeve jumper, you've got that detail down the front, but to the sides, stockinette, stocking stitch nice and easy, but there's enough there to keep you interested. Same with the uh, Galfe Ladies Cable Coatigan. Love a Coatigan. You've got that interest down the front, 
but some nice sort of basic knitting. You've got some menswear in there. Thank you, Sarah. Love a bit of menswear and also some children's designs as well. And then again, it's spiral bound. So when you're at the page that you need to work on, you can open it out and it's going to stay nice and flat. Beautiful photography too. Isn't that inspiring? Great natural colours. Really, really beautiful. That's smashing, isn't it? I like that. Really lovely. Now we've got a pack with two yarns from West Yorkshire Spinners, which I'm going to grab right here. These are from the Fleece range. So these are both Blue Face Leicester. You're getting two. You're getting two. Now these will make the Cable Cow hat accessory set. Uh, that's in the West Yorkshire Spinners Oakworth uh, ladies cable cowl and hat. But if you just want to try the yarn, knit yourself a cowl or a hat, use your favourite DK pattern, you could have a go. $14.99. That's a great price. Great price for 200 grams of beautiful West Yorkshire spinners. I can't believe it, but this hour's come to an end. Don't forget, don't forget to grab your completely exclusive WI anniversary panel to make a tote bag, celebrating 106 years of inspiring women all over the world. Just amazing work. And we had those terrific guests, didn't we? Marina and Ange, who just completely bowled me over and um, inspired, I think, anybody and everybody who watched this morning uh, to join the WI or to remain in the WI. What a wonderful, wonderful message they brought to us. It's been a terrific morning. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I've had a lovely three days, really lovely three days here. I'm actually back next week. I'm back on Tuesday and Wednesday, so I hope you'll join me. I know that Delphine Brooks is going to be back on Tuesday um, with something brand new, so uh, don't miss that. And also I get to meet Alison Marion which I'm really excited about on Wednesday. Now, tomorrow we've got Re Rebecca Reed in. Let's have a little look, actually. Let's have a little look what we've got. We've got 8 a.m. under 12 pounds on the 12th. That sounds like a great show. Fabric bundles, tools, deals. Oh, some naughty things that we shouldn't really have done, but we're selling for under 12 pounds. Sounds worth getting up for. I'll be in my pyjamas, but I will be watching. 9am, it's the Sashiko Cushion and Hanging with Beth Miller. Love Sashiko technique. Beautiful. If you like a bit of hand stitching, tune in at 9 with Beth Miller. At 10am, Anna Maria Horner's Halfses Strike Quilt with Susie Duncan. Lovely bit of patchwork there. Anna is one of my favourite designers uh, of quilt weight fabric. At 11am, it's So With Beth, a kit roundup with Beth Miller. And then at 12 o'clock, 100 paper pieced quilt blocks with Susie Duncan. I love a bit of paper piecing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you tune in. And I trust me, by the end of the show, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Whatever you're doing for the rest of Sunday, a Saturday, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And tomorrow too, or Sunday, don't forget, we're back um, bright and early 8 a.m. Join us. I'll be at home in Yorkshire looking after goats and sheep and Charlie. And, uh, but I will see you Tuesday. Have a great rest of the weekend.